Hey what's up guys this is Ashik from dogdo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create awesome forms using Elementor plugin. I have already created two different examples for you so that you can understand how this plugin and how this widget works and how powerful this widget is and what all you can make with this. This is the first example which you see on your screen a very very beautiful form which we have created. We have divided this into two different sections. The first one it, it has an icon. A, bit, a very beautiful and awesome font another font and then at the right hand side we have this uh, this form which we have created we'll see how to add different options your mobile number how you can add a link you can also add options like to upload a file date selector and so on it is great i'll i'll show you everything in detail in this particular video this is the second one which we'll be creating another amazing form which we have created. These forms are very very useful and I have divided this video into two different sections. In the first section we'll see the basic structure of the form, what are the different options, how to use all the options and in the second uh, section we'll see how to style the form. Okay, so let's get started. Before proceeding further, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. With that being said, let's get started. So first go to your dashboard let's create a new page so that we can add our form in there you can name it anything you want i am naming it contact and you can set any template i'm uh, setting it to page builder blank because i don't want anything on the page i just want my contact okay now click on this button which says edit with elementor and remember this form widget is only available in Elementor Pro so it is not available in the free plugin you have to purchase the pro version if you haven't already done that then you can go to blogdo.com slash Elementor and you can purchase it from there let me show you okay so as you can see over here there is a buy now button when you click on this you will be redirected to this uh, uh, section where you have three different plans personal business and unlimited plan if you want it for a single site you can purchase the uh, single one personal one if you want it to use on three different sites you can use the business one and 199 for unlimited this is basically for web developers and freelancers and i am using this personal one because i'll be using this only one uh, only on a single domain a single site so you can choose your uh, whatever plan you want and then we can proceed further if you don't know how to uh, purchase it how to install it there is a link in the video description below you can watch that video all your doubts will be cleared okay so let's come back over here now here are all the pro elements as you can see at the left hand side now we have to search for the form element here it is the forms drag it over here so when you drag it over here by default you should see something like this first we'll see uh, uh, the basic things about over here so let's come back and let's see the first section is the form fields and the first option is form name so you can name it anything by default it is named to for new form you can change the name if you want and here as you can see we have three different options the first one is name email and message let's see one by one let's open name here you have type label placeholder required column width okay so first one is type what kind of text or what kind of box you want what you want your user to fill in so for name we are selecting text because name is basically text he'll be entering some text if it was his mobile number or something then we would select number if it was email address then we would select email okay so first one is name so that's why it is text label as you can see at the top of this box this name is written you can change this label to anything for example instead of name let's type it uh, let's type your name and here is the placeholder which you see in the box the light text which says name so instead of placeholder we can uh, type in anything for example let's type enter your name so as you can see over here now enter your name is written over there okay so basically this is what type label and placeholder is now if you want to make it required you can make it yes or if you don't want to make it required you can make it no it's all up to you then we have column width so as you can see over here it is spread to 100 percent width now if you want this uh, you can change this from here let's make it 50 percent so as you can see now it is 50 percent okay now we will make this also 50 percent and we'll bring both of them on the same line okay so let's see the second one the email one so here instead of uh, text email is selected as i said you earlier 
because we some uh, because you know what happens this why is this important see so when email is selected then anyone who doesn't enter a email format for example mail at gmail.com uh, if he enters anything like if he does any mistake he'll be prompted and said you're you're doing some mistake he and if he enters only some text or only some number he will be uh, he'll be prompted that you are doing some mistake over here because it will uh, uh, automatically realize that this is not the perfect format okay so that is why it is important here also you can change the label placeholder if it is required or not now let's make this also 50 percent as you can see when we do this both the things comes into one single row or one single line okay this is the message one so let's open up this message one okay at present it is selected to four rows when you increase the rows you increase the width or uh, you increase the height of this particular column of this particular box so that you give a bigger box for example at present by default it is selected to four if i enter eight as you can see the size of the box increases which is very good you can also increase the width or height of this particular thing if you want so we'll make it 200 percent so these were three basic things you can also add an item for example let's click on add item we get this box okay so let's open this and let's see the options now instead of type let's enter something like select so we'll get few options to be from which we have to select okay so we can give it any name for example let's uh, give it a label source okay now we don't want to make it required okay let's make it required now enter something for example google second option facebook third option maybe g plus google plus whatever you like i'm just giving you an example okay so instead of label let's type in something else let's type how did you hear about us okay so this is very important so that you can understand how did your the person the visitor on your website or anywhere else hear about you how did he get to know about you okay so here if you want to add more options you can add them on different lines so at present we have selected three options as you can see now he can select anything and you can click on this send button okay so this is how you add a new item if you want to duplicate this you can click on over here this thing will be duplicated if you want to delete this you can click on this x button it will be deleted now here is the input size okay so these are the input size if i increase by default it is set to small if i'll send set it to medium you can see the changes as you can see medium if i set it to large the box size increases okay so let's make it medium okay if you want to show the label or not at the top all these labels are there your name email address and so on if you don't want to show them you can just make it no and this will look something like this so it's all up to you okay so required mark if it is required we want the required mark and that is very important so that the user knows that he has to fill this particular uh, particular field only then his form will be accepted okay so these were all the form fields okay now let's see about the submit button so let's uh, expand the submit button and the text is as you can see on on this button it says send so you can uh, change this also let's change it to click here you can increase the size let's make it medium again you can also increase or decrease the column width as you can see now it is 50 percent 80 percent whatever you like let's make it 100 percent and you can also change the alignment at present it is to justified you can make it center align right align left align it's all up to you okay so let's make it justified looks much better you can add an icon if let's make it a uh, cent left let's make it left okay you can add any icon over here for example you can search for an icon let's search for envelope okay so as you can see now before this uh, button there is an envelope icon if you want to add this icon after click uh, after this text then you can select after from here and if you want to increase the spacing between this icon and this text you can do so let's see as you can see the space between this icon and the text increases so this was the submit button so we have seen form fields we have seen submit button 
now is the action after submit so what happens when a user or when someone clicks on this particular button so let's select that so we are have selected an action email so uh, when someone clicks uh, fills in this form and clicks on this button you'll get an email at uh, email at your email address okay now let's see the different email options okay so you will get a mail on this particular email address by default it will uh, get your admin email address if you want to if you want to add more email address then you can just put a comma and enter new one okay so let's enter mail at gmail.com or anything you want this is the subject which you will receive uh, the email and in email content all the fields so you'll get all whatever field he has filled in you'll get all the information on your email address Okay, you can change the from email address, uh, from name, reply to and so on. This is the metadata. This is also very important. Okay, so uh, below the email address, below the mail which you get, you'll see few Im information like when did that person visit uh, this particular form? What was the date? What was the time? What page URL? For, for example, if you have added a contact form or any kind of form on different pages, then you, you will be very, uh, you, it will be very useful if you know which page is working well, which page is getting more attraction to this form. So that is also very important user agent IP address credit and so on send as HTML or text HTML is selected and I also recommend HTML now the last option is additional options so you can uh, customize the custom options the uh, default messages over here for example when the message is successfully sent the user will get this message the form was sent successfully for error message this is the one so you can uh, just change anything you want for, ex for example uh, instead of success message the form was sent successfully thank you can just thank the user for uh, submitting the form so it's all up to you after doing all these changes click on the save button so that you don't miss any changes so these were all the basic things the basic structure of the form how a form looks like now second is the styling one okay so let's see what is styling but we will need to do some changes over here in fact i just near created this just to show you what a form is i'll delete everything and start a new one to create something like this okay so again i'll drag the form over here okay now my main uh, objective is to create uh, it like this okay so first i want all the uh, form fields on one si uh, on single lines and the send bot button at the bottom and i want to divide this into two different columns so let's first see uh, do that okay how over here at the corner you'll see this gray button and at the there you'll see a plus button which would say add column click on that a new column will be added now i want this column over here so i'll drag this over here okay fine so let's start working over here okay what all options we have we have name email mobile number facebook url just i just added that you can add anything over there okay so let's add four any four we don't want message over here okay because we want small uh, form fields okay so we have four uh, different form fields over here and we don't want uh, this form field uh, this label so so i just i'll just select or de deselect this label i'll increase the size to medium or maybe let it be small fine so we have four different form fields we have disabled the label we have set the size to small fine now let's see see the second option the submit button this is also fine everything looks uh, fine after this we don't have to do much change over here go to style directly okay now we first option is column gap so when you increase or decrease nothing happens because uh, there is only one single column the second one is row gap when you do increase or decrease over here you see because there are different rows over here okay so you can set the row gap according to you now go to field now here you can do all the changes for these four options which are the field options the first one is text color so as you can see over here it is dark gray inside that that is the text color so let's select the text color and select dark gray as you can see the changes have taken place over here now you can in uh, change the typography for example you can just change the size of the text what to whatever you want okay let's delete this 
fine you can change the font family to uh, roboto or whatever you like your favorite font you can increase or decrease the weight transform style and so on okay so we don't have to do uh, much of the typography setting over here the main options are these the background color now select the background color and as you can see over here the background color is light pink so you can select the color from here as you can see but i have a, a color code for myself this is very dark so what i'll do i'll decrease the opacity from here and as you can see it has become very light and this looks much better okay we can change this later so there is no problem with that so let's click on over here we don't want any border okay so i'll make this zero border width just put in zero over there now border radius here if you see uh, the corners are circle so we want a rounded uh, something like this okay so let's add a border radius let's add 50 and as you can see this looks awesome fine now let's see the button uh, settings here also we'll see the text color is white the button color is dark pink so text color is white that's fine button color background color this is also looking awesome border radius let's make this also 50 pixels okay so this looks awesome click on save now as you can see over here there is some padding from all the sides from top left right there is a gap from all the sides okay and this form is in the middle so let's do that and also the background color is white so click on this now go to advanced and this is the padding so you can enter anything for example 20 pixels now as you can see we have 20 pixels padding from all the sides so you can increase this also let's enter 50 pixels this looks much better okay so this is 50 pixels now let's change the background color so go to styles here it is the first option background click the first one classic select the color from here select white now we have a white background color and we have something like this okay so this is really going awesome click on save now let's do this section the say uh, this uh, background so color section and then this text and icon and so on okay so we have to select this uh, column now and first there is an icon this is an icon okay so we want an icon so drag this icon over here okay we have this over here at the top now from here we have to select code just type in code q u o t e so we have two different code left code right whatever whatever you like you can select let's select code right and here as you can see the color is white all the colors over here are white so this is center align that's fine go to style primary color select white this looks awesome you can change this size okay you can increase or decrease the size you can rotate it if you want you can add a hover effect for example if this is white but when someone hovers over this it becomes black okay as you can see over here so you can also do that i don't want to do that so i'll just clear this off fine you can also add an animation when someone hovers over this you can add grow so when when someone hovers over this as you can see it grows so you can also add some animations if you want so these are the settings basic settings okay so let's first also add a background color uh, the pink background color to this so that we can see the changes more easily so click on this edit column go to advance in fact go to style select the color background color and select any color you want here also we need to add some padding so let's add 20 pixels 20 pixels will be fine and now if you see over here this column is slightly bigger than this one so let's do that also take your cursor over here and drag this thing over here fine so this looks much better click on save whenever you do any small change big change make sure you save uh, the settings so that you don't miss anything which you which you have already done so you don't have to do it again and again now let's see the second one the second one is just some simple text so let's copy this text from here okay come back over here click on this icon so that you will be redirected to this one now select title uh, this heading over here and paste it over here now paste everything over here fine make it center align go to style to change now text color will be white fine typography you can increase or decrease the size of this text 
you can also change the font family you can uh, for example uh, this is atma at present the with the one which i have used in the demo is atma as you can see now we will also add some line height okay so that it looks much better so this is really looking awesome click on save fine now at the bottom there is some gap and again there is some text my name is written over there fine so again come back over here let's add some gap first so this is the spacer copy the spacer drag it over here you can increase or decrease the space by clicking on this and changing this thing okay so by default it is set to 50 so i'll also make it 50 now i need my name over there so i again i'll drag this uh, heading at the bottom okay here type in my name center align go to style color of the font will be white and also change let's change the typography to able fine and let's also increase the letter spacing as you can see over here so this looks awesome click on save Okay, let's increase the size of these labels also that would look much better. So instead of input size small, let's select medium or maybe large. No, let's select medium and increase the uh, color, the row gap. Okay. Okay, let's make the button also medium. So go to submit button and make this also medium or large fine whatever you like now click on save hey okay, guys so this is how you make a form like this uh, in fact we forgot one thing we forgot to put this background image so let's do that also now click on this edit section go to style background classic select an image okay media library or if you want to import uh, upload you can upload a file this is the image i want click on insert media okay so we we have a background image go to li uh, layout height select fit to screen okay so click on save first okay now this looks exactly like this okay this really looks amazing you can also add some opacity to make the background darker if you want again go to style background overlay okay classic color if you select black as you can see the background has become darker you can add any color uh, opacity okay as you can see pink color opacity also you can add it's all up to you okay click on save okay guys so we are done with the first form and this was really amazing it was really good now let's add our second form this one okay so let's do that again bring this thing over here drag down come back over here again drag the form over here at the new section let's see how this looks okay we have we have to add three inputs at the top and the submit button at the bottom so let's do that first let's hide these labels we don't want the label we don't want the message we want some simple three inputs over here let's make it medium okay and let's change the size because we want 3 we'll select 33 because 33 33 33 will make it 99 or probably 100 okay 33 and this one also 33 okay so because we want 3 in the same row we are selecting 33 if you want 4 in the same row you'll select 25 and so on okay click on save now again go to style column gap okay now column gap will be applied because we have three different columns so you can increase or decrease this as you can see the changes are taking place okay so you can increase the column gap if you want also you can increase or decrease the row gap again i forgot to increase the size of this button so again come to content submit button instead of small let's make it medium save again go to style select field let's see all the changes okay here the text color is dark gray the background color is white okay so text color will be dark gray okay we don't want to change any typography background color is white over here fine now we don't have, uh, have any border so we'll make border with zero because we don't want any border with border radius make it 50 again or 60 whatever you like so this looks awesome 
okay i hope you can see the changes on your screen let's select, let me select this and here now you can see the changes are taking place now let's select this button go to style again select button from here okay so here the text color is white and the button color is pink okay so text color is white which is already there background color is pink so i'll paste in that code find background type solid border type we don't have any border but we do have border radius so let's make it 50 fine click on save okay so we have this thing and it, this looks exactly like this now let's add all these things at the top so first there is an icon so click on this logo it will bring you over here let's add an icon at the top okay so this that was a bulb icon so select for search for bulb this is the light bulb dash o select this one center align that's fine go to style change the primary color to same color okay increase the height okay to whatever you like you can also rotate it if you want you can also add a hover effect over here also when someone hovers on this okay so, so some changes take place the color changes there is an animation you can do so i have not done over here so i am not doing but it, it is really easy you can change it everything from here click on save next we have this text get the best tips ever copy it again come back over here drag this heading at the bottom paste it over here center align go to style text color is white typography let's change the size increase the size okay this looks much better fine then we have some more text just copy it from here again come back over here drag this text over here paste in center align go to style text color white again typography okay we need to decrease the size okay so maybe 24 is better and we also want to uh, change the font family we want something very simple and lighter okay so able i have selected able i'll also change the weight to maybe 400 and increase the line height i hope you can see the changes okay if you not let me first change the background color or okay so that you can see the changes i'm sorry if you couldn't if anyone of you couldn't see i'm really sorry about that first let i should have changed the background color so that you can see the changes so as you can see over here the background color is different and this is the column background color so let me add a column background color first select on this edit column go to style background color select color okay so i'll select black but i'll decrease the opacity or i'll you know decrease this transparency okay so this is this looks much better and now i hope you can see all the changes but here also if you'll see there is some gap from both the sides uh, in fact from all the sides so let's do that go to advance add some padding like 30 pixels something okay so 30 pixels looks really amazing click on save okay so we are almost done one thing is left to change this background color the main background color so for that select this option which says edit section the blue one go to style background color okay let's select the blue one advance add some padding let's add 50 pixels in fact we don't need to do any changes on the padding just make it zero go to layout and here also instead of height go to fit to screen okay click on save so as you can see guys it was really really easy creating both this thing and this looks amazing okay so both the things are done and i hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was helpful make sure you subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video and there are many more elementor pro videos coming on so make sure you subscribe for those videos also if you like it if you want more elementor pro tutorials you can let me know if you don't want you can also let me know okay and if you have any suggestions any request for me because this video was requested for by some of my subscribers they wanted me to touch elementor pro so that's why i did this if you have any request for me please let me know in the comment section below i'll really try to you know fulfill your request thanks a lot for watching